Hey there, Cosmic Nuts and Cosmic Naughties, and welcome to another Slab City update. I just got done with the brisket meat in your mouth, you know, which took pretty much from midnight on. I uh, got a little bit of sleep and Tuesday morning, uh, Wanda Wander hits me up and is like, hey, you wanna go to the dispensary and needles with me? And like, it's Wanda. I thoroughly enjoy her company. I don't get enough, spend enough time with her. So of course I was like, yes. Give me a minute. And, uh, because, uh, you know, I needed to pack and uh, we we're potentially going to be staying overnight. Um, so I needed to pack and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, they kind of pulled up right next to the driveway right then and there. <laughs> so, ended up packing up stuff. Uh, including the cameras, drones, like the whole nine yards. This, this was going to be a little, uh, you know, excursion. This should be fun. So as we get rolling on our way out there, uh, I go to set up the nice camera and realize that I had left the SD card in my laptop and that my spare SD card was in the holder at home as well. <laughs> So that didn't go real well to begin with. Um, and, uh, you know, also Mad Mac uh, was going with as well. He, he was sitting up in the front seat. I had this chair, uh, kind of one of those camping chairs. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think I was supposed to sit in that thing as long as I, <laughs> as I did. Uh, it was quite the day to be, that's why I said, you know, trapped. It's because that chair was not. <laughs> The most ideal anyways as we're going up there you know because none of us are spring chickens other than except maybe uh wanda's son who was doing the driving so every once in a while we get get out and stretch and the first place that we go stretch is uh, uh this place that has a bunch of shoes uh looks like an old gas station that has a bunch of shoes and stuff like that hanging on it so we go check that out there's a couple of buildings that have some graffiti next worth or graffiti on it and stuff like that uh as well as you know i don't know who mark bride is but somebody is mad at mark bride because you know this was written in a couple of different places not just one so anyways uh, we get back into the vehicle we're heading on down the way for a while and then we decide you know what Let's get something to eat, or let's stop, stretch our legs, and, and eat a little bit something. And right where we happened to pull off, there was a, a lake nearby. I forget which lake it was called. Um, but so we head off in that direction and go down there. And this is really kind of like a, 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 a gated golf community with RVs and stuff like that. And if you've seen Juana's van before, uh, <laughs> doesn't quite blend into that sort of uh, environment at all so we ended up going on the outside of that and making uh some sandwiches to snack on and i decided you know what i'm gonna fly my drone up i'm gonna go take a look inside of this gated community and stuff like that and you know i'm getting things set up and i start to take off and as i'm taking off i'm realizing damn it's pretty windy and i'm like directly under or not directly but uh, off to the side, there are live electrical wires. And so like I try to get away from that as quick as possible. And I'm going to look in things and totally forget to hit the record button. <sighs> so got no footage of that at all. We get up to Needles and uh, hit, hit, there was two dispensaries that we hit. Uh, and it was much different than uh, what I'm used to getting at March and Ash, the experience sort of thing. Uh, uh, March and Ash, it feels much more like a, a boutique store. You go in, you get to kind of see stuff. Pretty much this was, you go, you get in, you stand in line, 
uh, as soon as the bud tender is ready, you go stand, they go run and grab stuff that you want. Most The stuff that I got, everything that I got was in bags, not glass jars. So, uh, But I told him I wanted a good indica, and he brought me back uh, what's called egg roll. It had like 32% uh, or 33% uh, THC. And I was like, what else you got in the Indica family? Any chance you got any Bubba Kush? They had some Bubba Kush. So I picked up that. Um, and then at the other dispensary that we went to, uh, I got some pre-rolls. And, you know, for smoking on the way back, hooking up uh, uh, Shiny with one for watching the place and whatnot. And, you know, a couple others for smoking here and there. At which point... Uh, uh, Mac is like, uh, I kind of want to go back. Um, you know, my dogs are kind of freaking out and stuff like that. So there was going to be no fire and kind of kicking it around there. We were just going to kind of head back. And uh, on the way back, we hit uh, the Arizona side and stopped briefly in Lake Havasu for some dinner. Uh, I got some fresh in and out. Um, and after having fresh in and out a couple of times, I'll say it's it's a good uh, it's a good fast food burger, but I prefer Culver's. Yeah, I said it. I prefer Culver's. So yeah, we got something to eat, uh, and after that time, like I had grabbed a pillow to sit on in that chair, and uh, uh, I think for the rest of the way uh, back, I just climbed up uh, on Wanda's bed and laid down and. I think I might even fell asleep even. Uh, but yeah, we got back. It was pretty pretty late. Uh, unloaded stuff and, and went to bed. This week's Four Questions with Cause, I got a treat for you. Let's check it out. <laughs> hey there, and welcome to another Four Questions with Cause. And this gentleman should need no introduction. I don't think you can really say you've made a Slab City video uh, unless you've had Builder Bill in it. So now I officially become one of one of the people who do Slab City videos. Anyways, this is Builder Bill. He's also recently started up... Morning, uh, everybody. Uh, he's also recently started up uh, uh, a YouTube channel called Welcome to the Range, right? And he's recently gotten a 1,000 subscribers, and now we just need to get him those... Uh, what is it, 4,000 hours watch time? And he can be monetized. So make sure you look for the <laughs> link in the description as well as at the end card. So let's get started with this. Bill, what brought you to Slab City? Well, I had been working in construction. You know how in construction, when the job's done, you got a lot of times to go find a new, a new job. And there comes a time when you're doing pretty well doing that and wasting all your money racing dirt bikes and stuff. And and then all of a sudden you got gray hair in your temples. And, and the guy looks at you a little skeptical when you go to apply for the job, you know? <laughs> and, <laughs> and pretty soon it got really bad to where I was actually living on the street in, in San Diego, living in a van. Lived at Fiesta Island right there on the beach. It was pretty nice. But I had to work at night because that's when they come and run you out. Yeah. And but San Diego Police Department doesn't like people that live mobile, not really. And and they hunted down every hiding place and and catch you when you if you when you don't have the money for the Reggie till next week or or you know all of those things, mm -hmm. all of those things together. Oh yeah, habitation of a vehicle. Uh. Oh man. And but anyway, they got me enough times where there was some substantial amount of money that they wanted for my continued participation <laughs> in society. And and I didn't have it. So me and Ben back here hopped in my van and he sold his car for the gas money and we came on out here, you know. Oh, I learned something new. I did not know that you and Ben came out together. Well, that was actually the second time okay. I came out. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, then uh, I got here, and of course I spent the first two weeks sleeping off a three-year crystal binge, you know, and 
Now, now that's one of the most valuable things about Slab City. Where else can you go where you don't own nothing, don't belong nowhere? Where else can you go where you can sleep for three weeks? <laughs> and not many places. And not end up in jail. <laughs> There's, this is the only one. Well, anyway, you get less and less employable, and pretty soon you got to get out of Dodge. And where you go when you got to get out of Dodge? Come to Slab City. Right on. So, uh, what has been your favorite thing about Slab City? Favorite, huh? Yeah. Um, the, that and the surprise are the same thing. Okay. It's because it's this. I did this. I never had the gumption to do like this uh -huh. all my life, but I did that, right? <laughs> well, and almost and, the, and then and then right when I was started getting going, there was starting to be some people coming. I met Robin, and and my crystal dealer was selling me bunks. So I said, "Fuck that shit," and I quit. Right. And then I had some thing of identity and. The, the personal support and and I didn't have to ever go back but the the favorite thing is that I am somebody here I mean maybe I had to go to the smallest little <laughs> pond to be somebody <laughs> but the fact that I've surprised myself has stepped up to be somebody when I wasn't really doing that before Right on. And that, yeah, the, well, the place just allows it. You know, they, they don't arrest you while you're getting your shit together. Nope. <laughs> they do not. And then lastly, if there was something you could change about Slab City, what would it be? Oh, well, I'd pick up the trash. <laughs> you know, I mean, I mean, not the building materials. Yeah. I can tell. Yeah, yeah. But you know, the old cans and the and the taco wrappers and yeah. the. It's all just everywhere in the bushes, and I'd, I'd, I'd get big dumpsters, and you know, if I was rich, I'd hire people, and we'd go out and clean up the neighborhood for real, you know. Yeah. And yeah, that's one that people often say. And I almost, I was thinking about this when you're like, oh, number, well, my favorite, and what surprises me is the same, and basically, kind of, this is what you would change about it too. Like, there wasn't a music venue at a time, was there? No, there was, uh, in the snowboard community, there were a few of the local guys that could play, uh -huh. and they'd go, and that's how you get your beer on a Saturday night, is find the snowbirds having a party and go yeah, play them a few songs, and they'd pass you a few beers. And, and so there were a couple of three guys that could play, uh -huh. but uh, nothing like this was, it was just a campfire circle. Right on in those days. Well, that has been another Four Questions with Cause. Thank you, Builder Bill, for doing this. Uh, and yeah, make sure you check out his channel. And every Friday, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, right? You're gonna right. start live streaming for about an hour, hour or so. We did three hours the other night. Oh, right on, right on. <laughs> starting, starting to get a little oh, itchy, my, are you? My, my, uh, my uh, hotspot data went <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I guess that officially makes me a Slab City YouTuber now that I got Builder Bill to do a four questions with cause. And this week was also Thanksgiving. Uh, I went to the Ponderosa where uh, they were uh, giving away uh, kind of to-go meals because uh, uh, the day before it was announced that uh, uh, there was a confirmed case of COVID in Slab City. And so just to kind of be safe, uh, did the takeout thing. They hooked it up big time. There was turkey, there was pork, uh, broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, uh, some sweet potatoes. I, I think mashed potatoes, I don't remember. Anyways, it was a, a, a nice spread. I think they serve something like 89 people uh, for Thanksgiving. So, you know, big shout out to the Ponderosa and, you know, doing that. And basically the rest of the week, 
you know, was in that turkey coma, <laughs> just kind of napping uh, until, you know, the next meat in your mouth, which that that week I did a uh, 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 chicken penne pasta in a white cheddar and kale cream sauce. And yeah, had a pretty good, decent turnout for that. That's been another Slab City update. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Send Carson money on PayPal so he can buy himself something to eat. And he won't have to sell his body to Albanian men on the street. We're broke hippies living out in the desert, no money and no shoes. And he may smoke the marijuana, but at least he won't spend it on booze. If you enjoy Kaz's videos with their off-the-grid DIY vibe, send Kaz some money on PayPal.